Hey, you're tuning in. You know the title of the video. You clicked on this. Here's a twist. We don't, we don't know. <laughs> I don't, and you know more than I. We have a general vague plan of what we're doing. This is going to be a monthly series. Maybe every second Friday. Is this third Friday? Ooh, third Friday. Every third Friday of the month. Okay. We will talk news, movie news. We'll have a little fun, little yeah. micro reviews, which is okay. what we're going to kick yeah, off that's with. That's a good idea. We don't know what it's going to be, but we thought we'd try something new. Yeah. Because why not? We're just getting too good at, at, at everything else, you know? Yeah, we're, we're getting more than 50 views per video, so we thought, let's, let's change it let's up. Change it up. <laughs> All right, so let's get us started. Okay. First, before we get into the micro reviews, obviously Roger Corman passed away this past weekend, yes. 98 years old. Wow. The king of the B movies. Yeah. Without him, cinema would be less fun. Exactly. Yeah. And there would be, you know, no James Camerons. No James Camerons. No, no Scorsese. Yeah, no, no Coppola. No. No Ron Howard's. You no know, one talks about Scorsese and Spielberg mm -hmm. and Coppola. And they're just like they're the, they're the greats. They're the ones that like yeah. kind of started it. Like, yeah, no, and Corman was like, just over here making bad movies, um, <laughs> fun movies. That sometimes would also be like revolutionary yeah. movies. You know, Corman is, you know, when everyone complains that like you need like at least two to five years experience on a job before you can have a job. Corman was like, I'll give you that experience. Yeah. And that's really cool, mm -hmm. you know? That's what we need more of we in this more. world. Yeah. Is we need less, oh, you have to have three years experience yeah. to start this job. You need some jobs where, you know what, <laughs> you don't need experience. You just need to do it. You just need to be like, can we wrap a thing in trash bags and make it look weird yeah. and scary? Can we make a Sharknado? Yeah. All right. Now let's get to micro -re reviews. Yeah. I already messed it up the name. Can we call it micro reviews, but we start it with like the first couple letters of your name? Michael review? <laughs> <laughs> Even the movies I haven't watched? No, I was thinking like a microwave and it opens oh. up and it says micro review. But do we stop the time before it gets to zero? No, because that's foolish. That's fool. So don't get me started on that. Don't get another me video. Another video. <laughs> this is five words or less. Okay. Oh. Movies that came out recently that we have yeah. one of us have watched. Yeah. So let's get started with Challengers. Challengers. You haven't seen it. No. Okay. I, um, I have a review, even though I haven't watched okay, it. Okay. Okay. Fun. Camp. Mm -hmm. uh, epic soundtrack Zendaya you know <laughs> I was gonna go tennis ball does sexy things ooh yeah I like that one <laughs> I lost this I was like maybe I could start a sentence but I was like yeah, yeah. and then yeah now let's go to let's stick with you okay let's go Abigail Abigail okay fun Blood sucking. Good time. Good time. Wow. Yeah. Nailed it. Thank you. Thank you for your help. I'm really bad. <laughs> Next, I'll go to Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Okay. No Ape spoilies. No Love spoilies. It. Apes with eagles. Really fun. <laughs> what about apes with eagles fly high? Yeah, that works yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, they do fly high. And then let's do Unfrosted. Oh. Bad like... movie, Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> you said bad bad movie, Jerry Seinfeld. You did one word. That's, you... that's four words. Oh, they did. Oh, you did. Oh, I thought we were just doing five. I was going to say. Five uh, words or less. I haven't seen it, but um, bad movie, don't watch it. You yeah. Know? Yeah, yeah. Basically, yeah. yeah. And then let's finish it off with a movie we've both seen mm -hmm. The Fall Guy. Goslin, Blunt, good. Story bad. Okay. <laughs> mm. I hope that I hope that makes sense. I yeah. like the movie. But... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Being a millennial sometimes hurts. You know. Sometimes it does hurt. And I th that's a real obscure review, but you know, <laughs> whatever. Stunts. You know. Stunts. Uh, should get an Oscar category for sure. Should get it. Yeah, and every year they should let Ryan Gosling present it. That's yeah. just what he should get to do. Let's get to our movie section, our newbie movie 
newsy. We can't call it newbie. We can't, but I just did. Well, actually, what if, wait, hello, Maria's ready? She's we're going to send things out to Maria. Oh, nice. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no, we're not. Uh, let's just call it the movie newsies for now. Okay. Uh, oh, Christian Bale. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it started off with some Marvel news. Okay. Ralph Ineson was recently yep. announced as Galactus, yep. but also George Miller has shown interest in wanting to direct Thor 5 after working with Chris Hemsworth. Yeah, but is that just, sure, fine, do yeah. it, whatever. Yeah. Go ahead, whatever. <laughs> uh, but is that just these nerds being like, I'm gonna, we gotta ask about Marvel. Yeah, you they're know. whipping themselves up into a frenzy. That's what Marvel fans. It's do. like he's just answering a question. Yeah, like if I asked you, hey, would you want to direct? Do you want to direct the sequel to Fantastic Four? I would like, say, I would say no. What are you gonna say? say? <laughs> what are you gonna say? Like, uh, no to a million dollar paycheck? You know? Yeah, exactly. No, but counterpoint, Hemsworth has been in the media for the past like two years, being like, man, Thor four was not good. No. I want another crack at it. Maybe during the shooting of Furiosa, Chris would just not shut up about it. And George was like, you know what? You sold me. I'm ready to do it. But also, George might be wanting to do a Marvel movie before he Maybe. cashes out. Yeah. So, Our Happy Feet 3. Our Happy Feet Starring 3. Starring Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> but also, to go back to the Galactus, yeah. I think everyone's jazzed about oh, this. Yeah. Because this dude has one of the most magnificent voices to yeah, ever exist. Does. It's sick. Do you think it'll be like his... Kind of, will this be a Thanos situation? Will it be a like his visage? Yeah, like it's it's like he's in there somewhere. Or do you think this is just going to be like some voice acting? I don't know because obviously they're going to be more truthful to the comics than the the previous cloud version. Yeah, big guy. Uh, And we've already seen the the Celestials, so it's like whatever. Uh, I think his face, yes, but it'll probably be mostly. CGI or motion yeah. capture or yeah. something. You know, you look at his face, you're like, yeah, with glowing eyes, that'd be pretty sick. Yeah. And he's just that deep, guttural kind of uh, voice. Oh, so good. Lord of the Rings is getting a, a new set of movies. Yeah. Being helmed, not directed, but helmed by Peter Jackson. He's yeah. leading the charge, basically. Hopefully this time he doesn't get forced into making movies that I he didn't really that. want to make. Yeah. But there is a lot of hype. Yeah. You know, a lot of people, a lot of fans of Lord of the Rings are not into rings of power too much oh, but you what? you are i am i do like uh it. so what is your what do you what are you hoping to see and what well, and do you think that it should be compared to the tr- original trilogy i don't think we're ever going to get an original trilogy yes. ever again yeah it was such a special moment you think about like elijah Wood was kind of like the biggest name in that movie i mean Vigo, you Vigo, had, was, Vigo yeah, but yeah. you know it's like you had people who were well, actually really sean astin's probably was probably the most successful actually, person uh the agent from agent smith from no, the but, matrix but he's making those of the same it just comes out at the same it just i know but he was probably had the most cachet yeah, so, at the time but i mean you think about it it's like sean astin had goonies encino man rudy like at that point sean astin while he had fallen off was maybe the most like oh, oh yeah that's the kid it's the guy yeah, yeah. i think there's i heard there's gonna maybe be a gala movie they're talking about that's doing a gala movie of the search Andy for Gollum. will come back yeah. Um, I bet he could direct that thing. Look, I trust Andy Serkis at this point. Yeah. So but what is the search for? It's like, what is it about? Like, what is it? Is it post ring? Is it pre ring? Who who oh, knows? Is this like them find? Is it the bad guys looking for him to yeah. like get Bilbo's name out of him? You know, like what is this movie gonna be about? I just don't know. I mean, there's so much Tolkien lore. I guess mm-hmm. you could dive into much like the time of the elves and the time of men. It's is the time of <laughs> like high concept fantasy starting to dwindle maybe now that like game of thrones i mean yes you have some game of thrones still left i just feel like we've moved on i don't think um, it's dwindled because those books those books yeah. those horny books that all the people are reading <laughs> they are i mean they, they, they are, are. It's, it's, uh, uh, a court of flame and fire or yeah whatever like it's dragons yeah, and yeah. flames and um Lots roses of, i think and love and romance yeah. uh, and tragedy so I think there's a resurgence, but not in movie form. Yeah. Yet. So I think this will be the first to whet the appetite, as they say. I, I just don't know if Lord of the Rings is a property that um, like Gen Z and Gen Alpha uh, are just like craving. But also sometimes Gen Z Zoomers, you think they won't like something and then 
Oppenheimer is like a massive hit. Yeah. And a true. lot of them went and watched it or watched it on streaming. Yeah. But there are things yeah. like you don't think they'll be fans of and then they are because yeah. their parents, some some of their parents are millennials. I do, maybe we do have an upswing of like, you know, we have kids now. Mm -hmm. And so maybe by the time they actually make one of these movies, our kids will be old enough to, you know, well, not old enough, but yeah, yeah. we're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, you're eight. That's fine. Yeah, you'll you know? get it. You'll get so it. maybe we do have a resurgence, but... We'll see. That's it. All right. I don't know how to end a segment. Perfect end, actually. We've done it. <laughs>of big movies that are getting premiered here yeah. or being shown. Obviously, Furiosa is one of them. Uh, we've seen Anya Taylor-Joy in her yep. humongous hat already. But also, we get our first like reactions to Kevin Costner's Horizon movie. I, I don't can know. You, can you put the respect it deserves on there? An American Saga, sorry. Part one. Part one, thank you. Uh, but also, we are getting Yorgos Lanthimos, Kinds of yeah. Kindness. Uh, and then The Apprentice, the Trump movie with sebastian stan yep. and uh jeremy strong strong yeah, yes but the main one i want to talk about since the trailer just dropped yeah. so this is a bit of a trailer reaction <laughs> they've been asking us for a long time do a, tra do a trailer reaction no just people mention it sometimes oh, okay. uh megalopolis yeah. francis ford coppola's epic that is basically what if um, what if there was a modern day Rome is basically what the movie's yeah. gonna be. I'm just I'm so torn. I want the best <laughs> for old Francis. Yeah. He sold some of his vineyards to make this happen. He moved mountains to we make have this happen. There's no distributor on this thing yet. But he, at the end of the trailer, he's yeah. promising it's gonna be an IMAX. It's, it's coming twenty twenty four. I think I respect the boldness to be like, it's this is happening, yeah. whether you like it or not. I think the cast is one of the biggest casts ever put together and it's clear that adam driver just wants to work with all the famous yes directors. exactly <laughs> um i i'm hopeful that maybe these actors were like i see something here mm -hmm. yeah. and that yeah well, and, and so it'll be good i just don't know it's it you just and maybe it's all the news maybe yeah. it's maybe it's the first reactions to some of it that you're like is this gonna be good i don't know yeah we're we're taping this pre-reactions pre-reactions so I don't I don't think we should react too much, but no. I think one thing for sure. It looks cool though. It looks amazing. It looks awesome. The lighting in it looks great. Adam Driver. He's just he's just a great actor. And so even if it's the worst movie possible, yeah. like 65, you're still gonna find some joy in it. Do you think this will be like he's done after this? Yes, because his his wife passed away and yeah. this is basically in honor of her, yeah. he said. So I think he's done after this. Yeah. One, because he probably can't do it anymore. Doesn't have any more money, probably. But also, too, I think he squandered all his goodwill from yeah. reading that article. That could make money just based on people being like, I got to see what this is. Yeah. But again, I think so much of it is the film world. The film, people who love movies, mm -hmm. like they want to see it. I, I could not tell you if my parents want to see this movie. It is, yeah, it's a film nerd fan type yeah. of thing. But at the same time... This is how Francis has always been with almost all of his movies, yeah. other than Jack, because he was poor and needed <laughs> he needed some money. Uh, but Apocalypse Now, you yeah. think of it, uh, you think of uh, Dracula had a lot of post -pro like production problems, yeah. uh, and then he came back like Tetro or whatever it's yeah. called. He had problems with those. It's always it just seems to be that's how the way he works. Yeah, is he's got some troubles and yeah. he can't figure it out. You know what it reminds me of a little bit. It reminds me of uh, Cosmopolis. Yes. Where like the vibe feels like that. Name too, right? Yeah. yeah I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Uh, where you're just like, it looks cool. Mm -hmm. You're like, will it be able to pull off what it's trying to do? Yeah. yeah, it might be too ambitious. Are are they like showing us all the big things and then it's just going to get very weird and you're going to be like... It could go one of two ways. Either everyone gets it yeah. and it's a success or it's a cloud atlas and there's some diehard fans, yeah. but the general audience is just like, 
Uh, yeah. uh. But you know what? Shout out to uh, uh, Adam Driver for making these. You know, yes, he wants to work with every great director, yeah. but this is like the third project, like passion project of a great director that he's helped get to the finish line. Yeah, I mean, Ferrari. Don Quixote. Don Quixote. <laughs> this one. Most of them. Uh, like Martin Scorsese's Silence. Yes. There we go. It's like, yeah, so interesting that he's yeah. got. That needs to be a Criterion, like, disc set. Like, Adam Driver saves your. Driver <laughs> takes it to the finish line, you know? <laughs> Photo finish. Photo finish. <laughs> so, yeah, also, obviously, Kinds of Kindness is going to be yep. interesting because it's so quick, so it's quick of a fast, turn, yeah. turnaround. And it's not a short movie. Yeah. It seems to be like a wild uh, Magnolia-esque vignette type movie. Yeah. Also, Yorgos, at this point, I fully trust to make weird but fun movies. Yeah. Do you think that we're going to have people who like Poor Things? Poor Things had such a, I think, like a mainstream, yeah. not just appeal. But Gen like, Z got that one. Yeah, they, yeah. they loved it. Uh, but you know, like they're like, oh, it's the guy who did Poor Things. It'll be another Poor Things. And it's just not going to be, there's no, a chance it's not going to be like I that. I don't think so. And so you're going to have some people be yeah. a little like, whoa, that was not what I thought it was. I, in the same vein of like I Heart Huckabees, it's yeah. like, it'll be hyped and then people will be like, what, yeah. what happened here? Yeah, exactly. But I might like it. So no, I think I think we will enjoy it. I don't know how much time we have. Oh, perfect. It's actually good timing by me. Wow. All right, let's get to our final segment. Okay. It's going to be different every month. But hopefully, if these are successful, yeah. This one, I really don't know what we're recurring. We'll have recurring bits that hopefully this catches on. If not, at least I did it once. This one is called "Guess That Goldblum." Guess that Goldblum. This is Jeff Goldblum (laughs) specific trivia, or slash questions that you have to get right. Are the answers movies? Yes, movies. Yes, yes, or TV or whatever. Anything Jeff Goldblum related to movies. All right, here we go. In Death Wish, which is Jeff Goldblum's first film appearance, what was his role? Was it A, Hood number three? Was it B, Freak number one? Or was it C, Vagabond number nine? I'm gonna go Freak number one. Ding, 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 you got it right. (laughs) I was hoping you went for Vagabond on the map. Because that's, that's that the one I made up. That that's the, like, that's the one I made up. You'd be like, mm, Vagabond, yeah. I saw, I came up with this because you yeah. were watching the Wicked, like... Behind the, behind the, the trailer for the trailer. <laughs> like, hey, did you see how this trailer was made? Hey, we're going to have a trailer? Let me show you some more stuff. Okay, okay. before we go, okay. have you had time to think of what we're, what the heck we're going to call this thing? Because I have not thought... Well, you've been asking me a lot of questions, so no, I haven't. Yeah, I have been, haven't I? I've been really You've been asking, asking them. I've been answering them. <laughs> I've been a hostess, I yeah. would say. Yeah, I don't know. We'll come up with we'll it. Come, it'll be, it'll, it'll, it'll be, be the there. title. Or of it video. won't be. Or it won't be. Just question marks. <laughs> this is episode one, regardless. Question, que- like, question mark, question mark, question mark, dash episode one, yeah. colon. Maybe last final episode as well. Megalopolis and Goldblum, you yeah. know, like. Who knows? We're out of here. Thank you. Play the music.